Okay, so in this video, we're talking about strings. And uh, in Python, the way strings are created is that they are like a sequence of one or more characters that are delimited by a single quote or a double quote. For example, here we have this single quote, right? And it ends with a single quote, or you begin with a double quote and you end with a double quote. Let me print it. Now you see this extra single quote in between, and we can do that. So we can have like any number of single quotes within double quotes, or we can have double quotes uh, within single quotes because my string is beginning with this single quote and ending here. And so I can like print those. So let me show you. And these will not be delimiters anymore, but rather they will appear in the output because I already have my delimiter as like the starting point and ending point. Now, similar to like numeric values, we can create uh, variables as strings. So for example, hello world, uh, this is Python. It can be a sentence or it can be a single word. And then let's say I want to print s let me just run this so you can see that this is the output now let's assume that i wanted this output in like multiple lines so for example i wanted hello world in one line and then this is python in the next line let's try running this now i'll end up getting this eol or end of line syntax error that's because for multi-line strings um, we cannot use a single or uh, a single quote or double quote like a single uh, one of them, but rather we should be using three of these. For example, three single quotes ending with three uh, single quotes or start with three double quotes and with three double quotes. This will allow multi-line uh, string. Another way of printing a multi-line string is that we can have T. Let's say this is uh, my string and I'm saying this is a, a multi-line string and I want this is a like in the first line. And then I want the rest of it in the, in the next line. So I'll have something like a backslash n. OK, what is this backslash n? I'll talk about it. Just let's print this first and see if this works or not. Notice I'm not starting with three single code and not ending with three single code, but rather I have just like one on either side. But yeah, I could I managed to print that. So what is this backslash n? Now, this backslash is known as a, an escape character. And these escape characters have special meaning in Python, especially when they appear in the middle of a string. So inserting this backslash in the middle of a string tells Python that the next character has some special meaning. And you can see the change in color, right? So this, this N is not really part of the string, but it has some special meaning. Now, similar to that, there are other escape characters. For example, if I have backslash and then T, right? Again, the, the color is different. And that's because this is uh, telling Python that insert a tab space here, exactly here. Let's see, it does that. Well, it did that. So this is the tab space that got inserted here. And let me just like have another escape character here. So this is saying insert a backslash T, which is like tab here, and then move to the next line here. So this is exactly what happens in this output, as you can see here. Right, so there are other uh, ways of using this escape character. One of them is if after the escape character, you have like a single quote, right? And let's say I wasn't using this um, these escape characters. Let me just remove them. And I wanted like a single quote in between to be printed. We know that we could have done that by starting with a double quote and ending with a double quote and then included a, a single quote, right? That was possible. Another way of doing that is that you can have like an escape character and then this uh, single quote. Then Python knows that do, we should not be interpreting this as a delimiter, but rather it's just like another character in the string. So this should be printed. So as you can see, it gets printed here. Similar to that, if there was a double quote here, right? And a double quote here, let's say we were using this. We can either directly have a single quote here, or let's say if I wanted to print a double quote, then I'll have an escape character and then shift double character, a double quote, sorry. And yeah, okay, I don't want the other one. So this is what I want, right? Let me run that. So you'll see that this double quote will still be printed. There is another uh, important aspect of using this escape character. What if I want this like backslash to be printed in my string? So I can use like two. Um, backslashes. The first one is the escape character. It's telling Python that the second backslash has a special meaning, which essentially tells it that just go and print it as it is, right? So this gets printed here. And so that was all about escape characters, creating strings, creating multiple line strings. See you in the next video.